One thing I will say about snowy days is that it motivates me to get stuff done. It's like when the universe says, just sit down, work on stuff inside, stuff you have to get done. Today I have to give a shout out to my mom who sent me a care package all the way from Canada, from Newfoundland. She packs so well. Maybe that's where I learned to pack paint very carefully, I swear. Her boxes always arrive safely. So a little later today, I've got to get some work done first, but I cannot wait to break into that box. Does anybody have a loved one Loved one that even when they moved abroad, um, they still get care packages from their mom, their dad, their family, because it is the best, the best. So here we are playing with thrift finds. I'm getting some new stuff up on the website today. Um, the bunch from yesterday that I showed you, I think there might be one thing left. Maybe that cute snowman, toll painted candle, that might be it. Today I'm working on the moose, getting our the moose trees, candle, abra, camera, 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 candle, display up, the rustic one, and these, which are super cute. And then of course, keeping with, with the rustic theme, these two salt and pepper shakers. Now I noticed when I was working with them that they had, or at least one did, no, maybe two, two did. You see the little uh, chips that happened in their ears? Yes, if you've been along as, around as long as these guys, you probably have a few chips, you know? <laughs> happening as well. So do you see right there behind his ears? So I debated putting them up for sale like this. I'm like, no, I'm just going to reach for my, uh, just a quick brush here and put a few little dabs of paint right there. You know, it's easier for me to do this because I'm sure people, you know, as a painter than somebody who gets this and have to find the paint and all that good stuff. Just remember that acrylic paint dries darker. So I did just do those three little dabs right there and they set up and they were perfect to take some pictures with. I have no idea which one's the salt and which one's the pepper. How do you know? One's got the three dots on the back of his head. The one has the one dot, but don't know which goes in either. So then I also have these little wooden picture holders or card holders and I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and get these up today. They're super cute, three whales and the water spout. I think somebody will appreciate. It just has the coiled wi uh, wire on the top, very light, but tell me why they have to tie them together. I had to run and grab my scissors to cut them apart because I could not get them apart otherwise. The elastic band around all that wire, yeah, much easier just to cut it. This kitty cat sat way too long in the box, so I decided to um, work on the kitty cat as well. It did have a tag to get off. Tell me, why do you have to put the tag on the cat's face? Why, oh why? I got it off, but anyhow. So again, the tags in the back, it's, it's hiding exactly the details on what this plate is. I will never have, my, my nails will never be perfect because I pick things. I mean, look what I do for goodness sakes. I paint all the time, I'm always covered in paint, and then I'm picking constantly tags and things off. So yeah, I just will never have nice nails. Just, I'm just letting you know right now. I've been spraying water on the tags and just, you know, they lift right off, they soak right off kind of like the idea of when you have, I don't know, a jar with a label on and you put it in some soapy water in your sink. It works easy and no abrasive chemicals. You guys know my asthma has been acting up, so I'm not about to pull anything out. So yeah, uh, I ended up getting these. I'll post today. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Pretty happy and voila, hello. We got to do all this stuff as well. So stay tuned here on the vlog. Tomorrow we're going to go out and do some more thrifting. So um, I'll only be adding to the pile. So I got to keep on top of it. I want to get this kitty cat up right here because I need to get the kitty cat up. It'll probably be going up in the next day or so. In this box here, I spy some paint projects. I'm debating painting some candle holders. That's why I picked them up. Um, I'm seeing these painted and distressed. I think that would, they would be fun. A lot of you guys have asked if I paint anything, will I sell my painted finds as well? Absolutely I will. So this is finds that are a nice size that you can have some fun with, change them up. You know, put a little color on them or whatever you want to do with them and just give them some new life. So that was a cool one. That was just a single one, but you know, group them together, do them all different sizes. I think that's fun when you display candle holders like this. These were a, it's almost like a resin set. They're a hard plastic. I think it's going to be beautiful to go ahead and put some uh, paint on them as well. I'll probably do, maybe, maybe I'll paint those um, live or here on the YouTube channel as well. So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. I found those 
crackle candles. Oh yeah, and there's, this is why, Matt's not in the room with me right now, otherwise he'd be saying, welcome to Sonia's Candle Warehouse. But I guess I do collect a lot of candle holders, but you can't hide what's inside. I like these set, this set here because it had all the crackle. Oh yeah, yumminess, I love it. I love anything that looks old and time-worn. I just think it's so cozy. That's just my vibe, what can I say? And there's that big mug in there too. I forgot to pick that one up. Oh yeah, should I keep this one for myself? I'm thinking that could be one heck of a cup of coffee, Sonia. Yeah, so debating keeping this one for myself um, or posting it, so stay tuned. Or I might just keep it for a paint mug, you know, or you know, swish your brushes in and clean them out. But it's a nice heavy mug and I'm telling you, I feel like, yeah, big coffee cups are where it's at. <laughs> Maybe I just need more coffee to run these days than normal. I feel like this year I've drank a lot of coffee uh, since I've been home and really have switched over from tea to coffee. Yeah. So in this bag here, there is a picture frame that we picked up. Let's see, we paid 99 cents for it. And I've been doing a lot of art. So hello, lots of time in our hands right at home. So I've been, you know, really working on my art. And I picked up this, this frame. I was thinking that I've been working on some flowers, which I'll show you here in just a second. You can kind of see what I have in mind for them. Yeah, like right here. Now I purchased these frames new, but now that I'm out thrifting, I'm going to be keeping my eyes open for, yeah, for 99 cent frames. And so I think it's, it's nice when you do art and you frame them for the customer because that way they feel much more finished. So anyway, you'll see me pick up a lot of more, a lot more picture frames and some of them I'll paint as well. This fish made me think of my sister because we picked up a pair of them um, when we went junkin' and thrifted together and I ended up with a broken one, but I still love them anyhow. If you put them on the wall just right, nobody will even know. A little bit of paint, you'll be fine. Now today is the day that we're gonna get to this. We found this St. Vincent de Paul, I do mm -hmm. believe, and Matt spotted it, ruby bottom, crystal top somebody obviously took the time to write on it i'm not sure exactly what we're gonna find it looks like it's possibly three pieces matt do you see that I one two, two three pieces. two pieces yeah. all right so this indicates what what do you think it's a snowman fairy lamp you think it is yeah. now i'm beginning to wonder if it's an oil lamp the closer i'm looking at it i don't know a dollar 99 is what we scored it for they had 9.95 Top, All right, out. let's open it. What is inside the box? I mean, this is old, so yeah. I'm trying to do it without wrecking the box. Somebody was probably very, very organized and wrote yeah. on what was in it. This has never been opened, I can tell you that right now. You don't think so? Nope. So it's brand new? It's a, it's a new? fairy lamp. <gasps> oh no, I guess somebody did open it. Yep. What do you think they did? Were they trying to sell it for three bucks at one time? Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Well, that's what I'm saying is, they originally had 9.95 marked on it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know a maker. Oh, go. he's beautiful. Man, he's big. He's yeah, monstrous. He's a brute. Yeah, right. I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to keep them for my collection. You guys have turned me on to Fairy Lambs, which is the original night light lights. We talked about that before. Gotta keep the box. Yeah, I think we should. I'll and, throw it um, the paper. maybe in the paper. drawer of my china cabinet. I have now, what, four? Four uh, Fairy yeah. Lambs, I do believe. And this one definitely towers the rest. Yeah, that's a pretty Holy moly. Wow, that's so heavy. Yeah, that is like beast wonder what who made this no, beautiful no, so you'd put your actually this one could fit a really big candle in here yeah. you put your candle in there you light it up you got the little chimney up there and uh frosty would glow but i'll show you what i picked up and i'll show you my other lights too real quick because we're gonna use some um, we're gonna go battery operated into oh. the future so these are what I picked up. They are the yellow tea lights for $2.88 at Walmart. And I got a whole bunch of them here. I like the fact as well that says that there is a battery included for each, each light. So we don't have to go looking for that. So I'm excited because I wanna see what these tea lights look like um, when they're lit up. This is the one we found over at what, the Whistle Stop Antique Shop, I do believe, if I yes. got the name correct. 
love this one. No, this no, is the one I got across. The AJ's. Yeah, at the Benton dealer. Remember that vlog? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this one. This is the one that I got at the Whistle Stop right oh, here. Yes. That's the one we were like, the Fenton. should we, shouldn't we? Mm, beautiful. Regularly 50 odd dollars, and I think we got it for like 25. So these come apart just like this. Was it 25? That was awesome. No, it could this, be I think this one was 25. They had some, uh, they had another one that I really like. That if it's there when I go back, I'm probably going to get, and it was like 15. All right, so we got those two, and then we got Mr. Snowman. This is why I say he is like absolutely ginormous compared to the other ones. Matt's gonna open that light for me. And then this is the other one that I just got. I haven't cleaned it yet, but it's the white clear, I think this is we called uh, diamond, diamond nail. Diamond, diamond, pattern. diamond pattern and it's got a little bit of candle residue in there so i gotta clean that out let's see Ooh, i can't wait to turn the lights off nice all right oh you got this one going i got them all going except for is santa going Frosty. yes i think he is i can see him through his cheeks his cheeks are glowing all right it's rosy red cheeks cool and that's not from the wind kids all right oh all right you want to hit the light Let's see how this looks. This is exciting. Oh my gosh, Matt, they are beautiful. Look at these. Oh my goodness. I know somebody out there right now is watching and going, okay, I yeah, I'm going to get on this horse of collecting uh, fairy lamps or fairy lights, whatever you want to call them. You shouldn't do that because then you got competition. <sighs> They're so, yeah, right? Look away. These are awesome, but you would hate them. You would absolutely hate them. Don't do it. Oh my gosh, guys. Could not be happier. Wow. Okay, this just fuels me to want to go out and find more, right? The hunt is on. Look at him. You have created a monster. Wow. All right. Oh, me and you just spoiled the mood, didn't well, you? You know. And on that note, Matt did not spoil the mood. Because, the nude. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Matt did not uh, spoil the mood because he brought home coconut cream pie. So I am going to go indulge in some coconut cream pie and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. I will see you guys again soon. Uh -oh. Tomorrow, we are going to be doing some thrifting. So check back on the next vlog, and we'll take you along we'll with us. We will. All right, see you.